Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about your fuel leak type and where it might be on your airplane, which will help locate where it's coming from. But the FAA will tell you that there are stains, there are seeps, there are weeps, which are a heavy seep, and then there's a running leak. And you might be surprised where you can have these on your airplane. So stay tuned while we investigate it a bit more. Mm -hmm. So we would like to ask you, please subscribe hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. Now, none of us like seeing fuel leaks on our airplanes wherever they occur. But like I said, the FAA says there are four types. And let's talk about the four types. There is a stain. And then here's a measurement on the stain. So you can see that when it's a stain, when it changes over to a seep, and from a seep to a heavy seep, which is sometimes called a weep, and then finally, you're going to have a running leak, and that's usually going to be dripping onto the ground. And along the way, it will distort wing root seals and a bunch of other stuff. So now let's take a look at some of these on the airplane. Now, one place that surprises people where we have fuel leaks is up behind the panel. That's because we have a rigid line that comes in right there to bring the fuel pressure and the oil pressure to the gauges so that's in the cabin so that's one place that you can see that and that usually evidence itself by the smell of fuel in the cabin and you also have it dropping down onto the floor and as you might surmise that because we have pressure hoses on the inside of the firewall there's going to be pressure lines on the other side of the firewall and you know these are lifetime the blue hoses here but keep in mind that you can have fuel tanks leak i'm sorry you can have fuel leaks also up in the cowling area and that's why we end up the inside of the cowling white and the motor mounts white so it helps find leaks and cracks and stuff like that another place that you'll get fuel leaks from is down in the fuel i'm sorry in the wing root area underneath the fuel sumps and there's where you have your header tanks in the four place airplanes as well as all your vent lines now the lines that connect the fuel tank are usually rigid lines. The one on the left right there is actually a flexible line. And the vent hoses are all made out of hard aluminum tubing. And, of course, you'll get the stress cracks around the bends. And to be careful when you take them on and off, you don't want to crack the flanges. But you can also get fuel tank leaks up in the wing root area. And here's a look at all the plumbing that you might want to examine to see if you're having a problem. And I don't want to leave out you two place owners, but you have your sight gauges built into the fuselage walls and they're kept in good repair. You'll never have a leak, but if you do, you're going to want to take a look at them. And that's another place that you can have fuel leaking. The other place in the two place that you can have a leak is if your seals on your spar fuel tank leak, you'll start seeing that drain underneath the bottom of the spar and it may leak into the cabin between the seats. So that's another FYI for you two place flyers. Now the other place that you might be seeing fuel leaking from would be a fuel flush drain that we have in our wings for sumping them. Sometimes the o-ring goes bad, sometimes the skin's a little wrinkled, there's a problem with one of the rivets holding the capture into place, but for whatever reason you can also see it right here on the bottom of the wing and it's usually around the, the fuel sump drain. Sometimes it'll be around a screw that might be leaking in one of the access covers, but take a good look at your airplane every annual, lay down and look up. Another spot to examine is under the Kaufman strips over your wing sections. Uh, sometimes a rib in the fuel tank will be leaking and it will find its way to the outside and then will run down the spar along the bottom. So check the edges of your fuel tank where they intersect the wing. You might be surprised what you find. Another trouble spot is your access covers. And then every once in a while, someone will be too aggressive taking off a cover and they'll actually poke through the flange. And as you can see here, a screwdriver sticking through the hole. So we had to seal that on the inside. But you want to be looking at your access covers to make sure that you don't have any leaks around the 12 screws that hold them in place. And you want to make sure you have a good bead around there and you're not getting any seepage. So that's another place to look for is around the access covers on the bottom of your wing. Sometimes the flush drains are not all corroded. Sometimes there's just a weeping stain that's into the paint around this one like this. So there is a leak there, but 
it's not real evident like we saw with the corrosion around on the other side so take a good look on the bottom of your wings and you'll be surprised what you find like there's a little bit of a leak right there on the access cover and another one so again on the bottom of your airplane be sure to take a good look now this particular area is called the mid rib leak i've only seen one in 30 years of working on grumman's they're not that usual but what it happens is is when the rib delaminates from the inside of the wing the repair was to come back drill a hole put a pop rivet through there an avex rivet and then put some fuel tank sealant on the inside to prevent it but um, you will see those occasionally on some airplanes so let me take this minute to talk about fuel tank leaks they're never going to get any better. They're not going to stop on their own magically. They're just going to get worse. And they're going to continue to do damage to the airplane. Corrosion, uh, get some uh, underneath the paint. Uh, you'll have a wide variety of problems. So you want to address them as soon as you find them so that you don't have a continuing problem. It'll make your airplane nicer and you'll be a lot more confident in it. Now I hate picking on the fuel tanks because that is where the fuel is normally stored and in a four place airplane you can also get a leak when the gasket or the fly fasteners that hold the fuel sender in the tank near the wing root when they fail then you'll start to get a leak that will run down the rib and then from there it will run along that rib and then usually destroy the wing root seal on the bottom. Uh, make it all distorted and loose and floppy so anyway I don't want to ignore this area but if you've got a four place airplane you might want to make sure that your fuel sending units are sealed tightly into the wing and there's no evidence of fuel leak easy enough to do by looking in the wing route and looking right here and seeing what you see so put that on your list of things to do as well now the other place we want to make sure that we don't do any damage to is that fuel line that runs in from the outside of the fuselage right in front forward of the spar into the center console runs up to the gauges and that's how we get fuel to our airplanes in the four place and in the two place airplanes so you want to make sure that when you're stepping in and out of the airplane you're not when you're putting your foot down on the floor you're not stepping on that aluminum tube and having a problem so there's another fyi inside the cabin for you a fuel line and that, again that runs from the outside of the wall to the center console up to the fuel gauges and then from there it runs to the firewall to feed the engine sometimes we discover evidence of a fuel tank leak when we see like here the wing root seal on the bottom of the wing is all distorted and wiggly like that it also leak down onto the rubber seal on the gear leg and cause some problems with the texturing of the rubber so again all ways to find out if you have a problem or not now if you've identified the fact that the fuel leak is actually from the integrity of the fuel tank then you have to sometimes take an access cover and get a flashlight and a camera and go in there and actually look and see what you have. Now let me say this that this flashlight I'm using right here I was given by Mike Boyd because many years ago when I was down in Texas at Fletch Air Mike was smelling fuel in his airplane when he was flying but only that certain attitudes and what we discovered was that he had changed out his hose but they had not put a wrench on the bulkhead fitting through the firewall inadvertently strained the aluminum line that carried the fuel pressure from one side of the firewall up to the gauge and it had sprung a little hairline crack which is putting a mist of fuel occasionally in the cockpit and that's how we found it now here it is just a matter of pressurizing the tank and looking for the bubbles and again when you're looking for these are not hard to find it's just a little problematic and you know the funny thing about all of this is is that Don Wren who is a maintenance director for the National Guard in aircraft will tell you that his guys like to argue whether oh is that a, a stain is it a weep is it a seep because they can determine whether the airplane can be used or whether they want to get home for the weekend so let's take a look at some of the stuff that we'll see on the airplane and in here this is too big to be a stain and it's right at the marginal limit of being a seep so this could be a weep or a heavy seep but uh, there you go there's one to look at right there now if we go to the bottom of the wing and we look we're gonna have a whole different animal down there we're gonna find out that that heavy seep is actually a running leak and you can actually see it running along the spar so that's one way to determine what's going on with your aircraft and again you have a stain a seep a heavy seep or a weep and then a running leak and a running leak 
one that's actually dripping, that's the only one that will ground the aircraft, according to the FAA. And so that's why people will argue about, well, it's actually only a heavy seep, and so we can fly home because they want to get home for the weekend. So you determine with your mechanic what you have and repair it accordingly. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's probably more than you ever wanted to know about fuel leaks and their types and where they occur on the aircraft, but there you go. We hope you found all this useful and informative. No one likes seeing fuel leaks on their airplane. Thanks for watching, and have a great day flying your Grumman. You know, forget buying expensive toys for your kittens and cats. Um, we find that just taking the aircraft spruce box and the paper on the tile floor is more than enough amusement for them for hours.